At Google, we believe technology has a unique opportunity to help different types of industries decarbonize, particularly those with the largest carbon footprints. Take transportation, for example. According to the International Energy Agency, road vehicles account for over 75% of transportation emissions and are one of the largest contributors of greenhouse gases worldwide. So we've been exploring ways Google products and technology can provide solutions that reduce the carbon impact of cars and trucks. As a first step, we've been building a new feature that helps drivers get from point A to B more sustainably. And I'm excited to share that eco-friendly routing on Google Maps starts rolling out today in the United States and will launch in Europe in 2022. We're able to do this thanks to 13 years worth of routing expertise and by partnering with the US Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Lab. Through this partnership, we've built an entirely new routing model that optimizes for lower fuel consumption, looking at key factors like road incline and congestion, all while using Google Maps AI powered traffic predictions. Now, when you get directions, Google Maps will default to the most fuel efficient route with the lowest carbon emissions when it has roughly the same ETA as the fastest route. In cases where the more fuel efficient route could significantly increase your ETA, you have a choice. You can opt for the fastest route or for the one that's more eco-friendly. We estimate that this change has the potential to save over 1 million tons of carbon emissions per year, the equivalent of removing over 200,000 cars from the road. But it's not just the route you take. The vehicle itself makes a big difference too. Every year, people buy more than 70 million cars and trucks, both new and used. And many of them turn to Google to help research their options. And this year, search interest in electric vehicles and charging stations has never been higher. Now, when you search for car models and manufacturers, we'll tag hybrid and electric options to make them easier to find. And when you look into a specific electric model, we'll surface rebate info, helping you better understand the true cost of the car. We'll also show compatible charging stations nearby and typical charging times. And finally, you'll be able to compare gas and electric cars in new ways. In addition to MPGE, we'll show simplified energy cost and emission info, so you can get a more complete picture of their overall price and impact. We'll start rolling out these features in the US this year, with more to come in 2022. Of course, the most sustainable transportation options often don't include a car at all, like biking, which is one of my personal favorites. And I'm not alone. Over the past year, we've seen biking directions on Google Maps increase by up to 98% in cities around the world. That's why we're taking steps to make it easier than ever to get around on two wheels. First, we're introducing a feature called light navigation, a way for cyclists to see important details about their route without needing to keep their screen on or enter turn-by-turn -turn navigation. This helps cyclists to minimize time on their phone and to keep their focus exactly where it needs to be, on the road. At a glance, you can now easily track your trip progress, see your ETA update in real time, and the elevation of your route. Finally, we're not only helping people navigate more easily on two wheels, but we're also making it easier to find bikes and scooters in your area. Today, we're excited to expand bike and scooter share information on Google Maps to over 300 cities around the world, including in Berlin, New York, Sao Paulo, and Taipei. Now you can find nearby stations and even pinpoint how many vehicles are available in real time. And when you're done with your ride, you can make sure there's a place to park before heading over to the station. All of this is made possible thanks to partnerships with organizations like Bird, Donkey Republic, Voy, Tier, and many more. At the core of all of today's updates is the concept of choice. By helping people understand when more sustainable routes, modes, or cars are available, we are empowering them to choose the option that works best for their lifestyle.